My name is Luke, and welcome back to another Interbiotics tutorial. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Quick Start Guide for the Interbiotics X Series ROS 2 packages. Specifically, we're going to be reviewing the XSRM Descriptions Package, the XSRM Control Package, and some other basic concepts for the ROS 2 uh, X Series packages. So to start, we're going to change our directory to the ROS2 workspace. So this can be uh, whatever it's installed in on your machine. For mine, it's in ROS2 workspace. So the first thing that we need to do is source our ROS2 installation, um, specifically the Interbiotics packages here. Uh, the install script should configure your environment variables to load whenever you start a new terminal. Um, those will be just for the general ROS2 packages, um, but here we're going to source the Interbiotics packages. So source, install, setup.bash, and then from there we are going to launch the XSRM descriptions package, specifically the XSRM description.launch.py file, and use the joint state uh, publisher GUI. So this is to get us familiar with the virtual robot. So ROS2 launch Interbotics XSRM descriptions. And then that's the launch file. So we do ROS2, and then the verb is launch, which interacts with uh, different launch files and the launch tree. We're going to choose our package, and then the launch file within that package. And then from here, we can append any arguments that we want um, those that fall into the, uh, the command line arguments output from the uh, different launch files. So robot model WX200. And then from there, I'm going to use the set that equal to true. So you can see that that loads Arviz, which is a robot visualization software, uh, and that just looks at any um, topics or displays that are going on in the internals of ROS and displays them uh, however you have configured. So here we have the joint state publisher GUI, and here is our virtual robot model. So this is just uh, publishing different joint states and through the different pipelines in ROS, we can see what it looks like in the end here. We can mess with any joints we want, randomize them, and bring them back to zero. We control C out of that uh, to quit the ROS2 launch session. So next, we're going to get familiar with our real, actual, physical hardware robot. Um, for that, we're going to use the XSRM control package. So ROS2 launch, Interbotics, XSRM control, XSRM control.launch.py, set a robot model equal to the WX200, because that's what this robot is, and hit enter. This will launch the X-Series SDK, uh, which is a bridge between the X-Series driver, uh, which talks to the lower level Dynamixels and handles all of that communication. And then the XS SDK brings that to the higher level through ROS, um, exposing different uh, components through services and topics and actions. So here we can see the actual, or or the virtual representation of our actual robot in Arviz. Uh, you can see that it is the real joint states. So we can move it around a little bit and see that it also moves around. From here, we are going to see what uh, different services we can use. So we're going to source our workspace. We're going to do ROS2 service list. And this will show all of the different services that we can interact with um, through either the command line or through the different client libraries. Uh, a few of them are uh, Git motor registers, Git robot info, reboot motors, a few, of, a few of them here. So set motor PID gains, set motor registers, set operating modes, and torque enable. That torque enable is the one that we're going to interact with first. 
So here we're doing ROS2 service call, which will call the service uh, WX200 torque enable. It is of type Interbotics Access Messages. It's a service and uh, it's the torque enable service. And then here are the arguments that we're using. So it is command type group, which will command um, a collection of joints. Um, and those are defined in the motor config file. It's going to be the group all, which is just all of the servos in the robot. And enable is set to false, which will de-torque all of the servos. Okay. And you can see the all group was torqued off. And now if we come over here, we can move it around. We can also view that in Arvis. We can see that it reflects the real state of the robot. Alternatively, we provide this interbody control panel to interact with services and topics instead of using the command line. Makes it a little bit easier. So to do that, we put in our robot name, which is WX200, and we press update. And from here, we can go to all, group, and enable. So over here, we have all, group, and enable. So we're going to do that. And you can see that it's all torqued on again. And some other things that we can do, set it to its home pose, set it to its sleep pose, and interact with the other services. So. Home Sleep publishes a joint group command to the go to ROS2 topic list. We can see that it publishes those commands to the joint group topic. Torque obviously interacts with the torque enable service. Operating modes, this is set operating modes, so it is that service. Reboot is the reboot motor service. And git register values is the git motor registers service. Okay. And now we can just control C out of this. We'll close everything, turn off the X series SDK, which de-energizes the robot. Everything is now off and we're done with our ROS2 session. That's the end of the quick start guide. By the end of this video, you should know how to interact with a virtual robot through the XSARM descriptions package, the real robot through the XSARM control package, and be familiar with some of the concepts in the X series ARM ROS2 packages, like the different topics and services that you have available.